sunset, a warm orange glow fell over the island. As soon as I'd arrived at the hotel, the first thing I decided to do was go inside and check in. I didn't need to sit down just yet. Good evening. You must be... Hi, I'm Peter. Peter Taylor. I booked a room here three weeks ago. Yes, Mr. Taylor. We've been awaiting your arrival. I trust your flight was okay. Yes, it was fine. Thank you. Your room is ready. I'll just need to see your passport and checking in papers, please, sir. It was my passport and checking in paper. Here's my passport and checking in papers. I hope it's all okay. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. Yes, everything seems to be in order here. That's great to hear. Well, here's your room key, sir. Room number three. The rooms are just down the corridor. Great. Thank you. I do hope that you enjoy your stay with us here on the island of Linos. I'm sure I will. I'll be sure to be in touch if I have any questions. I noticed that the hotel's guest book looked strangely blank. Yes, Mr. T is there any nightlife around here? The island of Linos is not a lively port. We do have a couple of restaurants and bars on the front though, sir. Oh yes, of course. I didn't mean nightclubs or anything. That's not really my cup of tea. We don't get a lot of outside visitors, to be honest. With all due respect, you must get a few people vacationing here. You run a hotel after all. But, of course, yes. What I mean is, we don't have hundreds of guests every week. We're not that much of a well-known, popular destination. No, I can see that. To be honest, this is just what I'm after. I need the peace and quiet. I'm sure you'll find that here, sir. I'll come... The door was locked. The door was... The bedroom was perfect. I decided to check out what was to be my new home for the next seven days. The hotel had provided a small selection of toiletries. I didn't need to take them with me. I decided to get a shower later. The toilet looked nice and well kept. It was the bathroom's extractor fan. It looked like a journal left here by the previous guest. It definitely made for some interesting reading. 31st of March. I can still hear the screams. They seem to be coming from that island out to sea. I've been here now for four days, and the longer I'm here, the more and more I'm noticing things. Hell, even the receptionist doesn't seem right. I simply can't put my finger on it, but there's something not clicking with this place, as if all the islanders are holding a secret or protecting somebody. Some good news at last. I met a lovely couple today, Alan and Marie, who are here for the week. 3rd of April, Alan and Marie have vanished. The receptionist said they went back home, but this didn't make sense. They'd only just arrived. I received a couple of strange looks from the island locals today. Feeling really uncomfortable now. I want to go home. 4th of April, whoever finds this journal, please, for the love of God, don't ever go to the island. 
The sentence seemed to end midway, as if the author was interrupted. Strange. I wasn't ready for bed just yet, 